Good burning America, baby. What's up, guys? It's Dynamite here with the Good Burning America show. We out here. We doing big things. Out here with me, I got Dub C, a.k.a. Will Carl, the champ of champs, baby. Let's go. What's up? Will? Peace, peace. I'm doing phenomenal, my brothers. Good to be back with my brothers. How y'all doing? Woo, I'm doing fantastic as always, baby. And of course, as always, I got with me Ha Monks, baby. What's going on, Ha Monks? Oh, it's good, baby. You already know. What's up, everybody? <laughs> you already know what it is. Man, I always know it. I don't even ask him how he's doing because he's always good, baby. Boy, go. Always. And here's a special guest. We got Far with us. He's the the, the champ of champs of, of, of a <laughs> bunch of shit. You know what I'm saying? Everything. everything. Far is everything. Another solution specialist in the house, baby. What's up, Far? How you doing, my What's brother? What's up, fellas? I appreciate you guys having me. Oh, Man, we sure, appreciate bro. you being here. And of course, I'm here, Mr. Dynamite in the house. Daddy, let's go. Miami, Florida, <laughs> we're doing big things. All right, bro. So let's go ahead and let's get into the fast news segment brought to you by the High Monks and their Clippy Lighter. Get drippy with Clippy, baby, or get litty with Clippy. It can go either way. 33, 33, get your NST, people. I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Get yours before you don't get yours. Don't forget to check out at thehighmonks.com, Stoner's Temple. We got Get Liddy with Clippy, baby. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. So starting it off, baby, let's go. Talk to me, guys. We've got Walmart announces they're selling tiny homes for less than $10,000. $9,720 to be exact. We'll get you a two-story home out of Walmart. What you guys think about that? Will, talk to me. Well, first off, peace, man. I, I, I believe that, uh, man, I, th- I think that Walmart's putting their hands on everything kind of like Amazon. Uh, now they're like giving people homes. Um, I think the average person may look at it like, uh, you know, oh, there's Walmart. They're helping out people. I look at it as uh, they're trying to box us in. Does that make sense? They see a lot of people nowadays, this new generation, man, they're getting off the grid, brother. These, these people are putting their money together, buying land and stuff, man, you know, really just being free. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I guess it's a good thing or whatever, but I mean, I'm pretty sure people could do something more with $10,000, man. You know what I mean? Y'all can, y'all can go ahead and get some uh how monks hot boxes y'all can get some how monks nfts i mean y'all can do a lot more with that than buying a walmart home how you gonna feel hey man hey bro hey bro walmart hooked you up too yeah bro we too we got the same house you got hey man (laughs) i'm cool bro (laughs) hey the the price of living is getting astronomical out there man let let me tell you i just renovated a a townhouse out here in the pembroke pines area man a townhouse is a three bedroom let me see one two three bedroom two bath townhome all right, I believe it was like eighteen hundred, maybe yeah, eighteen hundred square feet, and and it just got a contract for four hundred and forty thousand dollars. Four hundred forty thousand dollars. It's disrespectful. I know. Hi, Mugs. Talk to me. What are you thinking? Shit, I think it's good, bro. Nine thousand, less than ten thousand, right? Same nine thousand. Nine thousand seven hundred twenty dollars to yeah, be buy exact. some home. Buy some homes for the homeless in LA, bro. That's all I'm saying. Walmart, like where that. you at? I like that. I like that, man. I really like that. You know what? Can end the big crisis that we got over there. You know, LA right now, Skid Row. There's Skid boys Row. on Skid Row that really need that that home, bro. They really need yeah, that man. that, that a place to take a shower. Not just in LA too, like all over America. Uh, Shit's bro, getting period, crazy. Bro. Yeah, absolutely, is, bro. absolutely. Uh, some, moving it over to far, homes. far. Talk to me. What are you thinking about these tiny homes? You buying one or no? Uh, I'm not buying one. I was just looking at it because I didn't know what the hell it was, and it says it's a nine by nine. What are we gonna do? Put the three of us in there and sit there and sing <laughs> "Kumbaya"? It's not. It's I'm not gonna happen. That shit. I, I, I'm like, I get like, there probably is somebody who needs it, but it's like it, nine by one. Nine is a one person home. This is not even a one person home. It's like a a little room for you to go think about person. what you didn't do. I got a dog that's 285 pounds. That's a nice home for the dog, bro. How much do <laughs> you love your dog? Will, hey, Dad, Will, you want your home? Yo, can Will lay down in there or something, man? I mean, if there's a bathroom in there, I can't. Will lay down. Hey, listen, I ain't no showers big enough for me, baby. I don't know what we're going to, you know what I'm saying? Walmart, y'all got to accommodate for the Giants out here, man. Oh, man. Maybe they get an XL size. You never know. Extra large, tiny home. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's possible. You never know. Look what they're doing. They're selling Man, just hit Dynamite Construction up and get your home built. How about that? Bam! I like that. Just get your home built. Just get the home built that you want. How about that? Let's Customize, go, baby. baby. Customize, ah. baby. And we bringing that tech. 
You already know we're bringing that tech. We got disappearing pools. We got dance floors. We got uh, all types of shit across the board. So come down to Miami. Check us out. Matter of fact, at this point, it's better to buy a new home or, 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 or construct a new home than buy an old home. $440,000 for 1,800 square feet. God damn. Scary, man. But, well. All right. Two anyway, moving homes, forward. 9,000. Oh, yeah, man. That's just incredible. Moving forward, we've got Ripple, Ripple fans push up, push up XRP price as a conclusion in the case against the SEC draws closed. Wow. I've been hearing this, man. I've been hearing this for a long time. Oh, it's almost over. It's close. We're about to. Oh, here we go. The price is skyrocketing. I don't know what to believe anymore. Just call me once it's done. I don't want to hear it's getting close anymore. What do you think about it, Will? Talk to me. Man, I'm black and white like court papers, baby. Yeah, I've been, you know, America is going to not always show you the truth. I said it. They're not going to always show you the truth. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, man, I think the lawsuit's been over with. I think they just need to hit the button on it. Like, SEC know they can't win this case. They found no evidence of any kind of corruption. Uh, just let the price go through the roof, man. Shout out to my homies in Canada. Yeah, you know I mean that, that that's been on XRP Army for years, man. Shout out to y'all for the information, man. Um, yeah, it, it's amazing. I can't wait. But I'm down, man. I'm like you, bro. Just go ahead. And let me know when it's over with. I mean, let me know when I can go ahead and just buy the island. I don't even want to really talk. I just want to call my brothers at the island. It's, it's it's getting made right now. Let's go ahead and fly over here. That's what I'm on, bro. <laughs> you know. I, I I hear you, man. I'm just getting kind of tired of the. It's almost over. It's almost. I don't know, man. It, to me, it just seems like a lot. Hi, monks. Talk to me. What are you thinking about this? Is it done? Is it not done? Are you waiting on your the edge of your seat? Are you look what's going on? I mean, I love Ripple. You know what I'm saying? You, you guys know this. <coughs> Ripple is 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 gonna is gonna win. It's already he already won. I mean, this is already over. But I don't believe that the price is gonna skyrocket just like that either. First, you know, you gotta go through a cycle with Bitcoin and all this, and then we might see that happening. But but yeah, no, I'm just Ripple for life. You know what I'm saying? I already know what Ripple can do and what it's going to do. So I'm, just, I'm all in, bro. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, I've heard it. I've heard it all. Next, Far, talk to me, man. Give me, so, give me something. Is it over? Is it not over? Will it be it's over like, soon? Talk to it's me. Like, it's like any currency. Like, we live in such a... The world right now is, like, so unstable in society. Like, you don't even, like, news will pop the value of a stock even. Like, NVDA or so, some of the other stocks over the last few weeks, they'll just pop it. So, it's like, does do we think a, any form of currency is done? Probably not. I mean, someone's going to probably put out another shit coin and it's going to be worth 200 bucks soon. So, like, I don't, I don't know if it's done. It's always going to be like this, especially with the way the world is. Uh, it's not done for sure it's not done so you think they're in there battling they got they still got a battle as close as they've been coming as much as as high monk says they've won we still battling you, you, long time uh, yeah i mean but that's any any form of like currency right like the u.s dollar to some degree has done that any, any international currency has done that for a long time so it's like do I think now because we have crypto exchanges that's going to change? No. Is is it going to stabilize over time at a higher level? Yeah, hundred percent. Like crypto wasn't worth what it is now twenty years ago, and twenty years from now it won't be the same thing. But that doesn't mean there's not going to be like this pendulum that it kind of rides on. I got you. I got you. Thank you for the insight. But uh, yeah, I gotta say, yeah, yeah, yeah I kind of agree with you, man. You know, uh, look at the that townhouse, four hundred forty thousand dollar townhouse offer that they put in there that just blows my mind. Blows it. It wasn't worth four hundred forty thousand dollars back then. And today seems to be worth four hundred forty thousand dollars. I think, like you said, the pendulum will swing back. You know, we'll we'll go down in value, come back up, and it just seems like we're in a merry-go-round. Somebody call me when XRP is done and we got a verdict in and everything's over. Bro, Please, for real, that's yeah, all yeah. I want to know. That's come it. When it's over I'm with, done man. with that come thing. When it's, over it's over with. for me. I can't hear another thing that says, "Hey, for sure. uh, yeah, today it's over. It's really over today. No, tomorrow it's going to be over." I'm over Man. it. You know what I'm saying? I, so. I went far once again, bro, and I'm going to get off the subject. I went far once again. Like, I just feel like once again, it's just <laughs> dog. Like, <sighs> cryptocurrency is changing people's lives, like, in the now, in the right now, like, this moment right now. And America is starting to see that. America need workers. If you realize, they need workers. So they don't really want to talk about 
to the public about crypto, bro. Because somebody got to work, bro. <laughs> somebody got to work. We can't have everybody being billionaires in America. So, you know, hey, population let me control tell you is something. coming. Those are facts right there. Population the control is coming. The vaccine, the you know, come on, bro. Uh, you know, I can't have everybody being millionaires. Hey, facts. Fun fact, the average, uh, the average age of a plumber nowadays, I think it's like uh, 50 plus. The average. Wow. Wow. So that, where's the workforce going? You're right. There's no nobody putting in work. There's nobody putting in their hands, getting it dirty. Everybody's going counting on AI. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. That th those are just my thoughts. But moving on, because we've got to go ahead and punch this time card out. Yep. We all know we it. talked about it before. Let's motherfucking go. All right. Sure. Next, we've got Elon Musk is once again the world's richest man. All right. They're saying he's estimated at 192 billion dollars, and not million guys, billion. He is Billy. Talk to me. Will, what you think about this? Uh, what I think about it, I mean, if that's the case, it's a phenomenal, you know, uh, I guess, uh, platform, whatever have you. But um, if we're looking at the black and white numbers and they're showing you how much this man's worth, he's worth way more than the black and white numbers are showing. Or he has that much more money put up somewhere. Cause he's not. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's be real about it. Okay, if you're the richest man in the world, you best believe on the books, you're going to see a billion, right? But <laughs> that's some other currency I have somewhere. I mean, dude's flying to Mars, bro. You know, like he's putting he's putting celebrities on spaceships, man. Talk, you know, people calling him talking about buying their own islands and stuff, bro. Come on, man. I shout out to the brother for that. Uh, I, I'm still never buying a Tesla car. Uh, nobody's going to call me and take me somewhere without me, my permission. So I'm cool with that. But shout out to him for that. Shout out to the Tesla cars and the 192 Billy Plus, whatever else you got stored back there, Elon. We hear you. We see you. Come on. Let's motherfucking go. Hi, Mugs. Talk to me. What you thinking about Elon becoming the richest man? 192 Shit. Billy. Good for him, though. <laughs> you know again? what I'm saying? Yeah, good for him. You know, like, that the splurges a lot of money, too, so he's going to need that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's, he's building fire flamethrowers and, and, and rockets and all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? How does this Shout guy out to Elon Musk. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, Shout out to you, baby. Let's go far. Talk to me. What are you thinking about Elon Musk becoming the richest man in America once again? What else is new? I mean, he has the, the most amount of businesses. He's going to probably figure out a way to get everybody off of this planet before the aliens and the robots kill us all. So it's not surprising. I mean, it'll, it'll do this thing. It does this every year where it's like it's Bezos, then it's Musk, then it's somebody else. It, that's, that's just the game. That's what happens. Then it's far. Then then far. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> On the call. Here we go. Don't blow up the spot, high mugs. Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, I got to agree with you, man. Uh, what, what is it? Ber Bernard Aronauts. He beat Bernard Aronauts. For, for, yeah, there's 187. My fucking Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Elon Musk comes through with 197. He got 10 on a pop. Let's go, baby boy. All right. I like that. I like that. Shout out to Elon Musk. Uh, keep doing your thing out there. Shoot me a flamethrower. We out here in Good Burn America. We're going to mess around with it. We'll have fun. We won't burn anything down, but, but throw us one, man. We we want one. Shoot me a flamethrower, my man. Just one. I just want one flamethrower, man. <laughs> Shoot that's me it. one. Man, that's All right, moving forward. NVIDIA, which is the leading designer in AI, releases the new HGX H100 module, which can be used with as many as eight AI chips to train artificial intelligence systems to perform ta uh, to uh, I'm sorry to train artificial systems and perform other tasks, their stock actually rocketed up almost twenty five percent. Will twenty five percent? What do you think about that? That's big time. That's a big time gain. Um, uh, I, I'm all about the AI technology, bro. Uh, anything that can make my life or my friends or family life easier, man, I'm with that. Um, just use it responsibly, bro. Like we always talk about, you know, technology is a special thing. It can be used for the good or bad. Um, but I feel like uh, us as brothers, man, we, we can lead for the good or bad. We choose good every time, you feel me? So at the end of the day, man, shout out to the technology, man. Shout out to the, the boys in the in the basements putting these things together, man, and not getting a lot of credit for that. Shout out to them. All right. Shout out to those guys in the basement, man. Big ups to you. Those basements are making big things happen. Hi, Muggs. Talk to me. NVIDIA. Yo, it's fire, they're bro. They're what they're ass. doing is fire as fuck, man. I'm into all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I render videos, I edit videos, I do special effects and after effects. 
So I love everything that they're doing. And now with that new thing that it has is AI implemented, they're gonna have video games. They expose this shit. This is they they just expose this. There's a video out there running on social media where the guy is talking to a game character, right? But the game character has doesn't have a script. It just has a backstory, right? That he knows that it was scripted into him. So he's AI, so he's gonna reply to the guy knowing his backstory, right? Fucking amazing, dog. You feel me? Like this is the new this is a new era of, of games, right? They're like creating worlds like fucking it's crazy, dog. I love it though. I love that shit. Yeah, it's definitely crazy. Uh I, I love it too. But uh moving on to far. What's up with these AI chips, man? Are Don't you getting one back far. here? Are you getting one in here? Or where are you getting one? Or are you getting one? Are you rebelling out, putting on the bandana? Ah, I'm coming to get them. Where are you at? Far, not, talk uh, to me. Uh, NVIDIA. We're not at the point yet where I'm putting a chip in me. That's that's not happening. That probably won't happen in this lifetime, to be honest with you. I don't see it. Facts. Even, like even with the whole Neuralink thing that Elon does, and they just got approved by no. the FDA. Like I don't, think, <laughs> uh, no. I don't think we're doing that. So uh, it's not not for me. Yeah, it's, we, it's went, cool, we went through these a few episodes ago. Yeah, 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 bro. You ain't nobody put no chip. Dynamite, Dynamite, Dynamite was down. Dynamite was with it. Dynamite with it though. Dynamite was like, yo, send me. Dynamite's like, ship me up. Throw that shit yeah, my okay. back. I'm like, hold up. Dude, what? Here's here's the thing though. There are some people in society. That if we put it in them, the quality of society will get better. That's just the reality of it. Like you got a lot of people who just it's it's not the highest quality of human. To be so honest. dynamite like, don't need it because he's already high quality. He don't need no chip there, right? Nah, but he imagine might not me need getting it, higher but like... and higher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, baby. Let's go. You can't get no higher than dynamite. It's cool, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Let me know how it goes, bro. If it goes good, in five years I'm in. Hey, look, yeah, I need five, you, though. A, I need five, though. I just see how your memory word. is at. I'll give you a secret code word that I'm not even going to tell myself, all right? Oh, man. And then what we'll do is, when, once all that shit, make, make sure it's me. It's still dynamite. We go, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, no, no. We're going to ride. We're going yeah, to pull up. We're going to pull up, make you sure it's you. We're going to test vitals and everything. Sure. Make, sure <laughs> make sure it's me. They ain't fuck around with me, bro. I just want to make sure I'm here. All right? All right, guys. Let's go. We're moving. Next one, we got researchers at Washington State University have developed a robotic bee that can fly fully in all directions. Don't sound like a lot, but let me tell you, it's a lot because those bees be moving, they be they be grooving, they be bobbing, they be weaving, and they, they just be doing things that's very hard, hey, you know, standing still. Just tell man, you, what do you think about that? We'll talk Dynam about Dynamite, can I interject? Man, I don't give a fuck about that technology shit. I think the last question we just talked about technology, I think we all for the new future and going forward. Let's get to them motherfucking playoffs. Let's get to them motherfucking oh, playoffs. <laughs> all right. All right. Fuck the bees. He doesn't give a fuck. They're going to make them anyways. They're made out of carbon fiber, Teflon, blah, blah, blah. Nah, We're bro. Me what's going on in NBA Florida. playoffs. NBA finals. Let's go. We got the Miami Heat versus the Denver Nuggets, bro. Uh, Jimmy Butler. I'm starting with Jimmy first. Jimmy predicted a lot of things, man. Talked a lot of stuff in that Boston Jimmy series. Jordan. Made it happen. Uh, there's rumors going around that Jimmy might be related to Michael Jordan. We'll talk about that on another episode. But uh, uh, very proud of Miami, man, for, for getting it done, man. Getting getting to the finals, man. First time in a long time. But they're going to have that boy in the mountains, boy. They're going to have that, 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 that boy Joker. And that boy Joker has still no muscle definition at all. Averages 30 points, 13 rebounds, and 10 assists a game. With no definition of muscles on his body, so uh, they're gonna have a problem, bro. The Denver that mile eye up with the the air is gonna be a problem for Miami, even though them boys are in shape. It's something about that Denver, man. What y'all think? Sorry, I was muted again. One more time. Damn, this thing gets me every time. I what do I think about it? What do I think about it? I'm excited about it. I love it all. Let's motherfucking go. The Joker, we're going to make a joke out of the Joker. Shout out to Jimmy. Shout out to bringing those buckets. Let's motherfucking go. We sharpshooting from everywhere. They, they ain't playing with us. You guys wow. forget. Everybody forgets about Miami. You forget that in the COVID and all that, we went to the finals again. We're, and we're back again. And before that, we won again and again. Man, shout out to that GOAT. He's up there. Pat Riley. 
Man, salute to you. You are the man. Hot hey. Musk, what we talking about, Hot Musk? What we got, brother? I want Miami to win. You know what I'm saying? Facts, you know, because I love what, Miami. What? I want Jimmy. I saw what they did to my team, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I want them to lose, dog. But, hey, if we talk about sharpshooters, bro, I thought we were playing Golden State back in 2017. I thought we were playing. I don't know what the fuck was happening. Every shot, I don't care, Joker, midfield, he'll just go in, Murray, and everybody was on steroids. Everybody, boom, 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 boom. So the altitude, all this shit, they talk about Denver is another thing. But honestly, it's going to be a great series. I I want Miami to win, but I don't think they're, they're going to take it. Murray's healthy, bro. It's just different teams. They're all bro. too good. Both teams are too good, but the difference in there is the Joker. You know what I'm saying? Like we're talking about Joker versus Adebayo. Come on, dog. I don't call see for it. help. Help him. Yeah, he's gonna need help because <laughs> help that's it. That that's where the difference is gonna be. Because they're all but, sharpshooters. You know what I'm saying? But how much you can't double him? Because he's averaging 11 assists a game. So the boy clearly passes the ball, bro. Yo, the Lakers did everything they could. They put AD yeah. on him. They switch it to LeBron. They switch it to this other dude. Um, I forgot his name. The Japanese dude. Uh, ha- Hashimura. Hashimura, bro. Like every no matter, bro. On, bro, Don't like double team. Yo, he's unstoppable. He's a real MVP, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to believe it. I was like, yo, the Lakers are playing way too good. Nah. They're going different. in. They're going hard. And, bro, honestly, the Lakers play good some games, but every time they play good, this team play better. Like, I remember the Lakers were up by, like, 10. And in, like, less than a fucking minute, these motherfuckers got, like, eight three-pointers back-to-back. I was like, yo, how the fuck is this happening? And and this is happening in L.A. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I'm talking about Murray. Everybody's just... They have championship criteria. So I don't know. Might, it's gonna be good. Like, I want Jimmy, like, Jimmy Jordan to take it though. For, Jimmy that's Jordan, bro. Um, shout out to the young boy, man. Shout out to my young boy, Michael Porter Jr., bro. Um, I got your top shot, bro. I've been holding since your rookie year, man. And you're in the finals, baby. Keep doing things, but they, they underrated you, bro, because your back was hurt, bro. They thought you weren't gonna play good, man. Shout out to you, bro, for making it to the finals, young boy. Shout out to my boy, Michael, bro. That's my homie. Far, what far. What do you far. Think? Tell me, tell me that you got it, the man. It is going one of two ways. Either it's going to be like Denver in four, maybe five, or it's going to be Miami in seven. I don't see this. I don't see this being one of those like Miami could pull it off quick. It's just not going to happen. And I don't think I, I, the matchups don't work in Miami's favor, but they also haven't worked in Miami's favor all playoffs. That's the other thing too. Like I think people forget that like you've beaten every team you've beaten along the way has some semblance of star star power continuity that you just relatively speaking don't have. And I'm not saying Denver is like not good because I think Denver Denver honestly like they were the best team that came out of the West. But Denver also think about who they played. They played Minnesota to start. Phoenix Suns. Then Phoenix and Phoenix was hobbled. Chris Paul didn't play two of those games. And then you played the seven seed Lakers who beat a Warriors team that was had already fallen apart. They haven't really had to, like, they haven't really, really been tested. Like, really, really tested. You haven't played anybody fully healthy. And again, that's the playoffs. So, like, it's basketball. You could sit there and Nobody's probably, healthy. Like, right. Nobody's healthy. Yeah. Right. And you can also argue, like, the Warriors in some of their finals runs and championship runs that they probably weren't the healthiest. But the thing is, is like, there, I haven't watched Denver and been like, wow, it's just like, like when they swept us, I'm a Lakers fan. When they swept us, I, I almost texted one. I was going to say, yo, we're going to get swept. I don't, I just don't see us beating them because we don't even have, we have a guy who's 38 who he can't be your main guy. Anthony Davis shows up on the offensive end every other night. So it's like, if you don't have a, if you don't have depth, and you don't have the pieces, and you you can't shoot the ball, and the Lakers couldn't hit an elephant in the rear end with a fucking snow shovel. There, there's just there's like there's just no chance. So like I don't. The reason to me Miami is interesting is because you have 
what is the dude Caleb Martin playing well? And if if Caleb Martin's going to play as well as he has, and you're going to get something out of Duncan Robinson, you you have a shot. If it turns into the offensive rebounding fest that Denver's had the last three series, it's over in four because Denver can shoot too. So that I think that's going to be the big key is can you keep the rebounding side just enough not to turn into a shit show, and then can you can you get these shooting performances? My guess is. I don't think you are because, you know, you have Bam, but that's all you have inside. And he's fantastic, but he's not – I don't look at Bam out of bio on a defensive and a rebounding standpoint and think he's – like if they had Kavon Looney from the Warriors, we'd be having a different conversation because you're looking at a guy who can do all of it for long periods of time and in the system they're in, it works. I don't know that that's how it is in Miami. It's not, so. brother. It- with my championship experience, bro, whoever rebounds the ball the best wins the game. Like, and it's like you got six nine wings in Porter Jr. He's young, he's athletic. He's, I mean, bro, it's, it, Porter Jr. is averaging eight rebounds a game, fifteen points. You know what I mean? The the second leading scorer is Murray with twenty seven. Joker's averaging thirty. Miami, Jimmy's averaging twenty nine. These are facts. These are black and white facts. Bam's averaging seventeen. Caleb Martin's averaging 14. The next highest guy is Vincent with 13, bro. Like, Denver, just all across the board, has girth. They're big. They're strong, bro. They can run. Did you see Murray through the series? I've watched all the games in Denver, bro. I mean, this guy has been sharp. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they Two years he was down with a knee injury. Two years he couldn't play touch a ball, bro. He was down, bro. He rid himself off. He's like, are y'all going to trade me? Coach like, what are you talking about? You're our, you're our guy. He said, not me. I might trade me. I'm not as good as I used to be. He said, man, you play play like you play like you're supposed to play. Don't worry about nothing on this end. That's, that's pretty, as a player, bro, that's very confident when you hear your coach and GM tell you that. You you kind of forget that you were hurt before. You just go out and play, bro. Whatever happens, happens, bro. So shout out to Denver, man. Uh, shout out to Miami for making the finals. It's a no, long road. Hey, though. I want to talk, I want to interject here and talk about how sometimes, ahead, bro. you know, heart heart has a lot to do with it. You know, the fight. It's, it's the, the, the fight. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog, they would say, you know. And then, you know, every once in a while. It's going to be a war. Yeah, and every once in a while, you know, you need a hero. I need a hero. And you know what? Miami's got a hero. Entire a hero. Bet you he's shooting lights out. Fuck around. Don't be around. Let's motherfucking go. That's going to be the deciding factor, and that's going to be the difference. In this Miami Heat team, go ahead and make it a joke of the Joker. Shout out to Miami, baby. I'm with you. Dynamite in the house. Let's go. That is, man. That is. Hey, I appreciate my brothers, man, and all the opinions and things of sports, man. I, I pray everybody enjoys this episode, man. We put a lot of uh, a lot of thought into it, man. And uh, you know, shout out to y'all, man. I, I, I value all y'all opinions, man. But it's going to be good to watch tonight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, that's fire, man! Huge, huge, huge I fire! I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna watch that game tonight. We'll, we'll have to do some, some FaceTime something. Let whoever's out there, all you high monks out there, you know what yeah. time it is. Especially you, the second fastest guy. In the hey, desert. you heard me? Yo, Put can we, can we ready. stream this shit on, 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 on the metaverse? We can do whatever. All I know is this: if Miami wins it, dynamite. You heard me. For the record, I'm on record. If Miami wins it, bro. We come to Miami, dog. Come through, man. We out me here. And, we me, hey, you. me and Shaka coming to Miami, bro. We come we, on we over, man. Out. I got a oh, Miami Heat jersey waiting for yeah. you over here. We coming to Miami. Bro. We how much we pull? How much we pulling up, boy? We pulling up. They win it. If they win it, Buddha's getting a jersey. I'm, I'm gonna get him a custom made jersey, bro. Yeah, they, oh. Yo, I'm going down with a painting. Bet, bro. Ooh. Bet. Miami wins this dynamite. Uh, we're gonna be there probably about a week, bro. We're gonna be just gonna stay a whole week down there, bro. Miami says before time. You know, since before I was born. So I mean, <laughs> let's just go, baby. It's that's what it is. About it there it is. And it's on the record. Here. Let's go, baby. It's on the record, man. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's get some closing statements out here. Will talk to me, man. Give me some closing statements for today, man. So closing statement, man. First and foremost. Yeah, man. Closing statement first and foremost, man. It's not it's never closing, it's always open, baby. Um, you know, um, Keep like-minded people around you. You know what I mean? Whatever you believe in is a dream, man. Even where you got three, four dollars, no money in your bank account, man. Believe in that dream if you really believe in it. And uh, like I said, once again, get get soul tribe around you, man. Ain't nothing like it. You know what I mean? Let's go, baby. Thank you, Will. Hi, monks. Talk to me, baby. What you got? Yo, smoke weed every day. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, okay, let's go. Far, give me some. Keep tuning into these episodes. This is hilarious. I love this shit. You guys are funny as fuck. I'm just sitting here. I'm like, what kind of podcast is this going to be? And then it's just just firing it off from the hip. I love it. Appreciate Keep tuning you, in. That's all I can tell you. I appreciate you, you, bro. I appreciate you guys having me. <laughs> sure, all right, we appreciate having you, Far. We're going far. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, don't don't Got get it. too far, far. We want you around here. Come on back. <laughs> hey, Check far real here. life though, bro. In real life, we got to chop it up, man. Next episode, if you can get on next episode, bro. Because yeah. I feel like my, how much I feel like there's a lot of things we ain't tapped into yet, bro. So you know what I mean? We yeah, we got we, 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 we uh, gonna get it in. We got you, things to tap into. We're gonna tap in. We're gonna do the double tap from the back, baby. Tap tap. <laughs> Let's go. Don't forget it. You heard it here. Dynamite said it. We need a hero. (laughs) Shout out to Jimmy Buckets, to the whole Miami Heat organization. We're going to go ahead and motherfucking burn these motherfucking jokers. And and, and these, what are they, the Denver what? Chicken nuggets? Let's go, baby. We out of here. This is the burning America. Peace. That was great.